Hey, Dr. Shoshana here. I wanted to do this video today because we've been bombarded with patients calling us and actually reporters calling us because there's an article that was published and it's out there today about horns. That's why I have the title behind me, Horns where children are developing horns or young adults are developing horns. When you think about growing horns, that's definitely scary, but there is some truth behind it. And today, in this short video, I want to explain to you the reality behind it, how it happens and why I see it every day in my practice, how you could prevent it from happening. So first I want to talk about the horn. So when we think about the horn, what we're looking at is we're looking at the structure and the back of the human skull. It's called external occipital protuberance. It's right there. You could actually even feel it on the back of your own head. So you could take your thumb and put it on the back of your head and I have a nice short haircut here and you can feel it on this bump here. So normally everyone has that bump, but what's happening with this epidemic of everyone looking down at their cell phones or laptops or game boards or whatever they're looking down at is that let's protect, this is a muscle. This would be a trap muscle. The traps are the muscles that elevate your shoulders up. So what happens is the trap muscle attaches to this here and then it starts here. So as this muscle continually stretch and continues stressed, it's gonna cause this bone to respond. There's a, a law, it's called Wolf's Law. It's one of the things that we learn in osteology real early on is that bones respond to stress over time. So if you think about it, it's like an osteophyte or a bone spur. If someone has a misaligned neck over a period of time, they'll start developing bone spurs in the front of the neck. So what we're starting to see is with more and more people with their head forward, they're starting to develop bone spurs. In a minute, I'll show you what it looks like in an x-ray. But this recent study that came out talks about how um, people from 18 to 30 years old, they 41% of them, which is a big number, have uh, bone spurs in the back of their head, and some of them are as big as 30 millimeters. Now, 30 millimeters is big. It's about the thickness of a normal watch. So that is sticking out in the back of your head. I could show you real quick in an x-ray of one of our recent patients of what it looks like. So I'm just gonna be pointing to it. That is a pretty big horn sticking out. Now, it's not really visible with someone with hair and whatnot, but it, the problem isn't the horn. The problem is why that is there to begin with and what leads to that. So this obviously tells me that this person has chronic tension. Uh, let's get back to over here. So, so it's the extended poor posture, especially with children looking down at the devices that's not only changing the way our posture is, but it's changing the way we breathe. It changes the way our, our heart functions because our spinal alignment has so much to do with how healthy you are. Right behind me, I have one of those quotes that I like to put up if you want to pan to that. How the nervous system controls and coordinates all organs and structures of the human body. If your spine is under chronic stress, so much so that bones are changing shape, it's definitely causing irritation to your nervous system. So we are seeing people that have symptoms out, obvious symptoms like headaches, or neck pain, but other symptoms that are a little bit more uh, under the radar, like respiratory problems or cardiac problems from having your head going forward, it closes off your posture so you're not breathing and taking a full deep breath. So that's the problem. What are things you can do to fix the problem? Well, in my chiropractic practice and chiropractic practices across the country, chiropractic care helps to correct this problem, but also we use uh, special devices, something specific called the Denerol, which if you want, I can grab and I can show you in a minute, is a prescription orthotic, uh, will you say, to help change the curvature in the spine that we utilize in our practice. This is a, a prescription device, it's called a Denerol, and basically what the patient does is the patient lays on it, their shoulders would be here, their head would be here, and it will help to change the shape of the spine. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but we can change the ligament, the structure. We do have pre and post x-rays that could validate that. Uh, but the moral of the story is, is stop looking down at your devices. And if your children are looking down at devices, this is something that could lead to poor posture and poor systemic health. And also an, a tip that I give every one of my patients is if, you're a kid, if your kid is at home using the device, get it out of this habit of looking down, have them looking up a little bit more. It's kind of hard for them to have their device down here, but you could train them or train yourself to get to this device almost at eye level. This will prevent this from happening. So one tip is a 20, 20, 20 rule. Every 20 minutes for 20 seconds, stop what you're doing and look up at the ceiling for 20 seconds. That'll help get this curve back in the neck. and It'll take some of the tension off those muscles that are so working so hard that they're actually causing pull in the bone and bone is changing shape. So yes, people are developing horns, but the, right, the, the more concerning problem is how this is affecting the overall posture and systemic health. See you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us. We're always here. See you in the next video.